Number one, Gnosticism. It's not acceptable in Islam. Number two, the second thing, skepticism and agnosticism. Gnosticism is something else. This is agnosticism and skepticism. When you start making doubts or start having doubts in your mind, shock. Maybe it seems to be correct, but I do not believe in it fully, as per se, in totality. So you start having shock, shock on angels, shock on jinnat, which you cannot see, jinn, metaphysical world, metaphysical sciences, you start having shock, shock, shock. Then this shock will, when it grows and do not find the exact help and guidance on the most critical juncture, of course, you're going to fall into the hands of atheism. You will start saying, okay, that's fine. It's everything is this and that. You don't have rational answers within your parameters and diameters. Then you start believing that there is no God. Everything is just running on on an accidental values. So this thing is the culminating point of agnosticism and skepticism. So skepticism, agnosticism, you understood. And Allah said in the Quran, shak, shak, shak. And after that, you will start saying that there is no God at all. So I'm going to reason in this video of mine that this all concept is wrong. Now, where is the problem? Here is the problem. Science believes everything after the time and space Big Bang. Now, Big Bang, we have the values of Big Bang in the Quran, in Surah Al-Anbiya. And Allah says that these kuffars, these disbelievers, why don't they believe in the Quran? Why don't they believe in Allah? Can't they see that the heavens and the earth were joined together and split asunder? And every living thing was originated from water. So this is enough proof. And 1400 years before, there was no concept of that. And something blast. And this big blast, nowadays they call it Big Bang. So, science starts or started, atheists started from Big Bang. When the time and the space start, expansion started, the dark matter, all the energy has been accumulated inside it. This thing has been growing since then. And everything, these stars, galaxies, these orbits, these galactical paths, all these have some kind of centripetal and centrifugal forces, which does not let them repel them and does not pull them. And it's like a cosmic balance. And this balance has been mentioned in the Quran in Surah Rahman. Mizan. Can't they see that all the heaven has been entered into the rules of cosmic balance? This is subhanAllah. Less in the Quran. But have you paid attention? No. So cosmic balance means everything is minute. It's very uh, sophisticated thing that anything happens. This is gonna sun gonna pull the earth into in towards it or repels go away. It becomes a dwarf planet and becomes like an ice. And this is it. So Allah says everything is a cosmic balance. Everything is calculated, tiny calculated. All you have this. And now another jump, quantum physics. Make something so small, so small, so small till to which extent no idea just make it small tiny tiny microscopic then even more microscopic then even more such so there's no limit to that similarly gigantic stuff how giant you can make it make it make it make it make it this vastness of space can we can can accommodate how long these or big or giant giant kind of bodies heavenly bodies we do not know you keep expanding, expanding, expanding. Wherever your eyes go, you see 165 billion light years of radius and diameter according to the Hubble telescope. So how far are you going to go? And light travels 9 trillion, 500 billion kilometers in one year. How far are you going to go? You have distant stars of 13 light years, 14 light years, or beyond that billion light years of galaxies, distances. So how can you comprehend these kind of sophisticated knowledge? You can't. So Allah says in the Quran that can't you see the heavenly, heavenly bodies? I'm taking oath towards those heavenly bodies and their sophistication, the values of their all working and dynamics and functions. 
that this is Al-Quran is revealed from the Lord of the worlds. This is Allah in the Quran, Allah speaking like that, taking oath and saying it is Azim. This is one of the mighty oath that this is Al-Quran which had revealed unto the man. Tabarak al-lazi nazzal al-furqana ala abdihi liyakuna lil alamina nazira Surah Furqan chapter 25 verse 1 It is he Allah who sent down this Furqan criterion to Prophet Muhammad peace be so that he may be a warner to the whole mankind not to the particular Arabs whole mankind So science starts after the Big Bang and they start speculating so they have speculative data towards God and they start saying, oh, there is no God and we are born accidentally. So, two questions to them. Number one, you said that there is no God. So, answer to this, Allah said in Surah Al-Baqarah that their own existence, your own existence is the proof that there is God. You see, I want to ask them, debate these, I'm ready to debate these atheists, giants, these all people. Your own proof is that there is God. You, yourself, where were you before your birth? If you can provide me the origins of your birth or origin of your making, then I will start listening to you. First, find the origins of your making. Then talk that there is no God. Don't waste people's time. And second thing, Provide the answer that what was before the Big Bang. Do you have a knowledge before the Big Bang? You do not have it. You all the knowledge which you have is a speculative knowledge. After the Big Bang, my this happen ought to be supposed to be in as much so. That is the knowledge you have. We call it a weak knowledge, fragile knowledge. So knowledge of a certain number one is that your own existence. Allah says in Surah Fusila. Last verse, Allah says that we will show our signs to you in front of you on the horizon and within your own selves. This is inside your body, everything, anatomy, physiology. And then your heart will say that Quran is al haq This testimony or testification will come out from your heart, the moral within, the values within, the acceptance within not from outside. You will say from your own heart that my own phys 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 physiology, my own anatomy, the complex system and mechanism running inside my own body. Leave the external sources. Just see your own body. It's enough that it will bring you towards Allah. Allah says in the Quran, test yourself. Forget about the things you can't even comprehend. How many living organisms have you discovered? I'm talking to the people of science underwater. Tell me nothing. Mariana Trench is the deepest trench. Have you ever discovered only that part? Leave the other part. Go and make a dive inside and see what things you're going to come out. Only take Mariana Trench. Leave the other ocean. Oceans. So let us reason. You see how tiny, insignificant are you? And then you talk about big, big, you know, claims, verdicts. This is not that. This is not that. So question number one. Your own existence, where did you come from? Find the origins. If you don't have sources, don't speak against Quran and Allah. Second thing, what was before the Big Bang? Provide us the answer. And before Big Bang, Allah says it was Ilmul Arwa, Khalkul Taqween. Allah says, Kun Fayakum. When He decrees a matter, He merely says, Be, and it is. And this is all kun fayakun is khalq et taqween. It does not require time and space because time and space created after the Big Bang. So everything after the Big Bang is running under the order of khalq et tadbir, functions, mechanism of physical laws of nature. If woman is pregnant, she has to bear three trimesters. Gestation periods of nine months to produce a healthy baby, otherwise, will be premature birth. It could be uncanny, uncouth, or deformed baby or child. But nature says you have to wait for nine months to make the complete cells and everything DNA structure whatsoever. So, this is the sunnah of physical. If you want to do something, you have to walk on this gravity. If you go to another play, play places, another gravity affects. 
and even the theory of relativity proved. Einstein was the first one who said that all the planets are floating, swimming, not just revolving. Quran says, Yasbahoon, it means something is floating and everything is floating, push, push, push. This dark matter pushing something, the heavenly bodies, and they are floating, floating, floating. And even rotating us on its own axis. This is another way, if you, if you put a ball on a, on a lake or a river, you see the ball also rotates and also floats. So this is what science of the Quran says already. Stand to reason. So this is it. Before, what was it? Ilmul Arwah, where there is no time required. This knowledge you can never be able to comprehend till your death. So after Big Bang Halqat Tadbir, and if Allah wants, He can bypass this Khalqat Tadbir into the laws of Khalqat Taqween. Moses, peace be upon him, when he reached to the Red Sea, the Red Sea was split asunder with the staff of Moses, which is against the law of nature. It was Khalqat Taqween which Allah entered, and the property of the nature of river or gravity, it was just bypassed. Same thing happened, Ibrahim. When Prophet Ibrahim was put into fire by Nimrud, he ought to burn. He ought to, but the property of fire is to burn, not to make it something cool or cold. But it happened opposite. Allah ordered, it changed into Khalqa Taqween, and the thing was Kun, Fire Kun, the property of fire was changed. But the law of nature says it is fire and it will burn. So these all things can be changed things. Now, challenge to atheists. Provide us your own origins and second thing provide us what was before the Big Bang. If you cannot provide these two answers then accept Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says in the Quran that it does not hurt you anything if you just say and believe that there is Allah. What it gonna cost you? They're gonna give you have to give money? No, nothing gonna cost you then why are you rigid? Why are you rigid? This is the message to the atheists and rest of the Muslim brethren and sisters who go to universities and might they get in the trap of this contraption of atheism, agnosticism, skepticism. I'm um, standby. Everything is given to you guys. You can contact me, inshallah. And that's all for today.